If you're thinking about starting affiliate marketing, please, please, please watch this video first. Hey guys, it's Greg. I've got another video for you today. This one's about affiliate marketing and it's the eight things that you need to know before you start affiliate marketing. I wish I was in your place and knew these things before I started affiliate marketing or at least towards the beginning of affiliate marketing because it would have saved so much time and frustration. So here's the thing. This is not going to be long, but it's going to cover eight really important things that you really need to know before you start affiliate marketing. And the second part to this is when you're ready to start affiliate marketing and you want to do it properly, I've got a link in the description to my full affiliate marketing tutorial that walks you through everything start to finish but at least know these things going into it and you will have a much better experience so without further ado let's get right into the first one so the first one is one of the most common questions and that is how long it takes for your content that you post on your site that blog post to show up on Google and start getting full traffic and the short answer is for a new website that you've just created, it's going to take roughly 35 weeks on average. Now, with that in mind, you write these blog posts and forget about it. Move on to the next one. Affiliate marketing on a niche site has never been and likely will never be something where you write the post and then it's immediately out there and getting you affiliate sales. That's just not how the system works. And if it did, everyone would be doing it. So the big number one thing is on a new website, it's going to take roughly 35 weeks for each piece of content to reach 90% of their peak traffic. What that means in a nutshell is it's basically receiving the full amount of traffic that it's going to going forward. So number two is asked all the time as well, and this is how many blog posts do you need to put on your website? And my answer to this is 30. 30 is when Google starts to see your website as a full website, not a new website anymore. Now you can write more than 30 blog posts, but I use that as my benchmark and my goal is to write 30 blog posts per niche site once I've reached that, I move on to the next one. Now you can come back if you get inspiration or you find a good blog article or some kind of content you wanna to add to that website later. You can absolutely do that and add on 31, 32, as many blog posts as you want. I've seen sites with 100 and more blog posts. That's fine, but I recommend getting to 30 and then moving on to the next niche website. That way Google will see you as a full website, it helps you to rank, and you're not spending all your time putting all your eggs in one basket on one site, and you can start to diversify and create more revenue streams with different niche sites. So try to hit 30 blog posts on each niche site and then move on to the next one. Number three, this is some personal advice. This is what I wish I understood more when I was going into it, but now I understand it fully, and I hope this helps you guys to understand it as you go in. And this is delayed gratification. We're so used to instant gratification. And as I slightly mentioned before, affiliate marketing has never really been and likely won't be something where you just publish something and then you start collecting affiliate sales right off the bat. It's delayed gratification. So this kind of works to your advantage if you see it the right way. Your goal is to hit 30 blog posts per niche website. Now, if you keep that delayed gratification in mind, you can write a post, publish it, start working on the next one write a post, publish it, start working on the next one, and not following that and seeing how many sales it's gotten, what the traffic's getting. Granted, it's nice to know the analytics and see how it's performing, but you can't expect to be making money on that post right away. Like I said, it's going to take weeks or months for that to start getting full traffic, so just write it, forget about it, and then what happens is months down the road, as you've been doing this consistently, everything starts to come back at once. Although it's delayed gratification, it kind of all hits at once and the returns start to be overwhelming all at once. But if you have that instant gratification and you look for the results right when you publish it, you're not gonna stay motivated. So just keep in mind, delayed gratification, put out your posts and just keep doing that and keep grinding. And then weeks or months later, it's all going to come back and that'll keep you motivated. So just remember that and try to keep in mind delayed gratification over instant gratification. All right, number four, this one's asked all the time as well, and that is how many products or niches do you put on one site? The answer to this is simple. Each website is for one niche, but can have as many products as you want. So for example, on rock climbing shoes, you can have the whole overall website is about rock climbing shoes. That's your niche but you can have multiple posts. You can have a post about cheap rock climbing shoes. Then you can link to a product on Amazon that's cheap rock climbing shoes. You can have best rock climbing shoes. Link to a different product that's more expensive. That's the best rock climbing shoes. You can compare two different types of rock climbing shoes. Now that's a post with two different products on there. Between those three posts, that could be four different products. So as you can see, you can link as many products as you want in that niche on a single niche site. So stay in one niche, but you can put as many niche products on that site in different posts as you want. All right, number five, and this goes right off the last tip, and that is you need to find a good niche. So I always recommend using kwfinder.com. You type in your niche, you can see how it's performing. 
look for things that are in the green with high search volume. Anything that's above a 39 rating in green and has over a thousand monthly searches, you're in good standings. Again, if you need more on this, if you wanna see a walkthrough of how to use this, there's the full tutorial in the description. So you can watch that. That's one of the first things in the tutorial. So you can see exactly how to do that very quickly. But that's number five is making sure that you have a good niche before you start spending time on this and use KW Finder to do that. Number six, this is something that I learned early on and it's a great lesson that you should know before you go into this. And that is great content always wins. It's not about how many posts you have. Like I said, only aim for 30. You don't have to aim for 100 or 150, but great content will win every time. If you're legitimately spending time on an article and it's something that you would sit down and read and it has good content, not just fluff or copy pasting things, that's great content. Now, if someone else comes along and just puts a quick fluffy article together that really doesn't give you any good information, Google will rank yours over theirs. Now you're going to get that traffic. Now this can work the other way too. If you don't have great content and someone comes into your niche and makes great content, they will outrank you. Granted, you'll still get traffic, but they're going to be getting the majority of it. So just remember as you go through this, if you're writing the articles yourself or if you're getting them done on Fiverr, aim for great content. You wanna make sure that each post has images, it has links, it has paragraphs with headings on them and make sure that you're putting valuable content in these posts. All right, number seven, and I see this happen all the time and that is don't spend money on ads until you know how to use them. And the second part to this is if you don't have money to spend on ads, don't be spending money on ads. Because if you don't really know what you're doing, that can be a great way to just burn a ton of money and you're not going to get that back. So my advice here is in the beginning, if you don't have money to spend on ads, just create good content. Focus on that, that's all completely free to do. And then in time, when you have money to spend on ads, first go to YouTube, learn as much as you can. And then if you're able to and have the luxury to, you can buy a course that'll walk you through everything on paid ads, but just be sure to keep it lean, especially in the beginning and don't spend money on ads if you don't know how to use them or don't have the money to spend on them. All right, and the last tip here is something that I personally learned that works extremely well and I recommend it to you, especially if you're starting out, this can be huge for you and that is to sprint towards your goal. So set your goal, and for example, the goal for the whole year could be to create five niche sites with 30 posts on each site. Now, once you have that goal in mind and you have it set, start to sprint towards that goal. If you're currently creating one post per week and you're just being optimistic that you're gonna start creating more, you have to start creating one per day. You need to start doing as much as you physically can and getting that out and getting it published. And you'll see just like I saw, when you start getting out as much valuable, really good content out there as fast as you can and really sprinting towards your goal, I made as much in a month as I had previously in a whole year just by doing this. So if you guys start doing this in the beginning, that can be huge for you. Figure out what you want your goal to be and then start aggressively working towards it. That's what works best. So guys, that's all I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you need the full affiliate marketing tutorial, it's linked down in the description. If you have any specific questions, leave them in a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If I can help you at all, please let me know. And I really hope this has helped you guys. Keep those things in mind and you guys will do awesome in affiliate marketing. It's a huge opportunity, but remember, you can't win if you're not in the game. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one. So I just wanted to add this video at the end here, just on a personal note to talk about affiliate marketing. If you're not already in it, I really do suggest that you start getting into affiliate marketing. You don't have to be a tech whiz. You don't have to be a marketing guru. It really doesn't take a lot of complicated skills to start getting affiliate sales. So with that being said, even if you don't have a big background in internet marketing or writing for blog posts, you can still do it. Just as a reminder, I did put a link to my full affiliate marketing tutorial. So if you are new and you decide that you wanna go into this, watch that tutorial. Because you've watched this video, you know what to expect. Watching that tutorial will walk you through everything from finding what niche you wanna go into to finding affiliate offers and actually putting together the posts. Everything that you need to do and that I currently do is walked through there from step one, basically idea, to putting together the whole site. And then at the end, you just have to make more blog posts. So it walks you through everything step by step, then you just continue to do that afterwards. And I'm here along the way. So if you start doing this and you have questions, you can reach out to me in comments and I'm always responding to those. So take advantage of that. I just wanted to put this video in here at the end just to say that this is a really big opportunity. There's so much money made online in affiliate marketing, but you can't profit from it if you're not actually doing affiliate marketing yourself. So I hope this pushes you to get started or at least give it a try. And trust me when I say, if you do it how I show you in the tutorial that's down below step-by-step, step, it's really just a matter of patience after you've made the site. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped you and maybe motivated you to get started in affiliate marketing. I'll see you guys in the next one.